Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where when I restarted the game it counted that we're on motorized wheels so that's fantastic absolutely great now I've already run our ISRU here to refill this tank off camera and all we need now is 5,000 units of ore in our outpost how much do we have 4,399 so we're close we should be able to get it on this day cycle. So let's just go ahead and warp on forward here and let that fill on up. We'll go up to 100x. Mm, even that's feeling a little slow. We'll go to 1000x, actually. Hopefully we get that this day cycle. I think we will. Yeah, we're definitely going to. Fantastic. So we'll take this up to about 50x now. Um, actually, we'll go to 100x. Cool. And that is our contract complete. We're going to retract our drill. We need to start packing this up at this point. So that's great. Oh, um, also I was able to extend this radiator from restarting the game. That's another thing that just fixed itself. So fantastic. We can retract these radi radiators. Uh, this solar array can remain for now. Is there anything else we need to do here on Gilly? Because this contract is complete, and that made us so much money. But next up, uh, yes, this one is complete. Plant a flag on Eve. Transmitter recover scientific data from the surface of Eve. From the surface of the moon. Yeah, that's easy enough. Um, we could actually go do the moon one right now while I'm thinking about it. Let's hop over to, I should have gone to the tracking station, but we'll go to, go to the space station here. Or rather, the space center. And we'll need to head over to our moon lab, our moon colony. And we'll just do a quick transmission from there. That'll complete that contract. Easy peasy. How much money do we have right now, anyway? I know we spent a lot on this colony. But okay, we've got almost 8 million. No problems there. Looks good. We could probably max out our space center. But let's go ahead and head to the colony core at moon. Beautiful. And once we are set up here on the moon, we will just transmit back our science. No problem whatsoever there. We should at this point also set up a science for cash trade at our administration center. That's definitely something we should do since we've got a lot of science and nothing to spend it on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually not going to transfer this science We're going to transfer a temperature scan like this. Done. So there's that contract complete. Nice and easy. We're going to hop back to the space center and let's make sure everything is maxed out here before we head over to land on Eve. I really hope we land on land on Eve. That would be awkward if we didn't. It's really hard to tell. Like really hard to tell whether we're going to land on land or water. So we'll see. We will see. First, we need to get to Eve, right? But let's go ahead and upgrade our administration building to level three there. The astronaut complex is fully upgraded. We can get mission control upgraded as well while we're at it. And our space plane hangar. There we go. And our runway. I believe that's everything maxed now. Launchpad's level 3. VAB is actually level 2. We'll get that upgraded to level 3. There. Now everything's maxed. So we're going to hop in here and we definitely want to... We want to take our science committed 100% to cash. And it immediately went away. I think because this fundraising campaign needs to actually be cancelled. Okay. Hmm. What is our maximum on this? Can we go to like 99? It's immediately disappearing. Okay, that's exciting stuff. Well, I do want the fundraising campaign. And we can only commit to this one at 86%. Because of the setup cost. Sure. Oh, it has a one-time effect. Right. Okay. Sure. So we can just sell our research that way. Got it. So as our science builds up, we can sell it. Okay, that makes sense. Sure. 
absolutely fine. Let's head back to the tracking station at this point. We need to go back to the Gilly Eve outpost. And let's go ahead and fly this. I don't believe there's anything else we need to do here. Oh, I wanted to check on our contracts before we took off. I'm dumb. I wanted to check to see if there were any other quick contracts we could get done here before we left. So let's actually head back to the space center again as soon as this loads. I, I hate to do that, but that's a lot of loading. Absolutely gross. I am glad that that motorized wheel recalculated when we reloaded the game. That's very good. Now we don't have to mess around with that. I was thinking about if I couldn't get that to work, we would do like a lawsuit system where we sue them and say we fulfilled all of the terms of the contract. And we did fulfill all of the terms of the contract, but it takes us like 10% of the contracts in legal fees or something. That's what I was planning on doing if I couldn't get that to work. But for now, we're going to hop into mission control. Extract ore from Eve and deliver it to Gilly. Disgusting. Extract ore from Gilly and deliver it to Eve. This is actually something we can do. And science data from space around Gilly is really easy right now. Okay. I believe we need fresh ore after we have accepted this contract for that to work. Okay. Okay. So let's hop out of here and let's go on to a satellite around Gilly. So that'll be like this long range communication machine orbiting Gilly. That'll be fine. We'll fly this and we'll just transmit back like temperature data. We should have a thermometer on here. And that'll be super, super easy. This thing is so overkilled. It's not even funny. Okay. So we definitely want to grab our thermometer. We will log our temperature and we'll transmit that back. Contract complete. Fantastic. Okay. So next up. Yeah, that ore from Gilly. So let's go ahead and hop over to our Gilly Eve outpost. I believe we need to mine fresh ore for this contract. Let's see if that's true. So we would mine 550 units of ore. No more. We don't want to have too much weight in this thing. So let's check our contracts here. We have 550 units of ore, but it's not considered fresh ore. Okay. So we're going to jettison all of our ore here. Cool. Now we will deploy our drills again. There we go. And these just barely reach. Even this one, which will say that it doesn't have surface contact, but it actually does. So there we go. We'll get that going. And we need 550 units of ore. So we'll warp here for a bit. We may end up losing power if we lose the light. We'll see what that ends up looking like. But let's go up to 1,000x here. This is not mining very quickly, is it? We only have eight units of ore. Oh, right. I'm dumb. It's because of our heat. <laughs> I never re-extended this radiator, so our temperatures are really, really, really bad. Okay. Let's let this temperature drop overnight. We don't really want to lose our power after all, which we will. We'll, we'll lose our power, but that's fine. Okay. And now we'll get this mining and it'll mine at a reasonable speed now that we have our cooling on much better much much better so we only need 550 units of ore right so that's 527 uh this one stopped mining yep go ahead and start up oh you can do it there you go fantastic so that's 5 530 535 540 545 and 549 just watching for it to go to 550 we don't want more weight than we have to have any moment now any moment now come on you can do it make 550 Okay, there's 550. Cool. 
So we'll stop that surface harvester. We will retract our drills. And retract our radiator. Beautiful. So I believe now we are officially done here. We need to land this ore on Eve. So step one is retracting this wheel. Not that it is all that relevant. Step two is packing all of this up, right? I think we can get away with holding attitude here and lifting this guy up. So let's set this target angle to be currently 96 degrees. So this needs to be like 180. And we'll just very gently lift that up. Cool. We're leaving this one be for now. And I'm definitely noticing us moving a little bit here, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. Okay. As soon as that arrives at its destination point, and we're only at 2% torque here. We're doing that very deliberately, for the record. Once this arrives at its target angle, which is almost there, I'm going to bump it up to 5% torque. And we'll put this one at also 5% torque. Okay. Looks like we are close enough. Close enough. Well, actually... And he said 179.5, 6... Yeah, we need more torque, I think, to uh, actually get it in there. Looks like this is close enough. So Palo is now going to EVA. And we're going to reattach this strut. So let's grab the strut. Attach it here. And attach it here. Beautiful. And then we'll hop back in. Cool, now we need to do the same over here. As we can see, we're currently being held up by this hydraulic cylinder. <laughs> That's a little bit exciting, to be sure. But let's go ahead and de-extend that just very gently here. Cool. I'm actually going to lift this off a bit. This thrust is not necessarily great, that's for sure. But let's bring our target angle here all the way up to 180. How long do we have before impact here? Like three minutes. That should be fine. So we're going to bring this guy on up, targeting that 180 degree mark. We're just packing everything on up. From here, we're going to turn up that torque limit to about 20%. Beautiful. And Palo will now EVA here. And we're going to re-strut this together. Beautiful. That'll do. So we are now tied back in. That's great. And from here, we can definitely make our way out. We are, I think, done here. So let's go ahead and make our way into orbit here pushing our apoapsis height up to around 15 kilometers will be our target. If I can get it to hold attitude here. Okay, awkward. I think we're going in a different direction here or something. Or we already actually achieved escape velocity. Yeah, we achieved escape velocity. That's what it is. Okay, let's flip it around to retrograde. I don't actually want to escape here, I don't think. No, this timing is not what we want, I don't think. So let's bring this on around. Escape velocity was achieved, but we don't actually want that. So around we come. Okay, that'll do for now. And then sometime around here is when we want to do a prograde burn, I think. Yes. 
We want to bring this periapsis down quite a lot. Uh, can we radial this a bit? Yeah, radial looks decent for bringing this down. And we want to park this at about 100 meters. There we go. Now, what would a braking maneuver look like here? So, hypothetically, how much delta V would this be? I think this would be too much. Correct? I'm pretty sure that's 553. So, yes, that is definitely too much. So, we should actually dip this down just barely into the atmosphere here. So, targeting somewhere around 80 kilometers. And we're going to be coming in a fair amount faster than we were previously. There's no doubt about that. And we're just kind of hoping that we hit land here and not water. We don't really have a way to get to land. Do we? Other than, like, rolling this thing <laughs> in the water. I'm sure that will be healthy for all of the components. Okay. Let's prepare for this. And we're just going to kind of hope. We're just going to kind of hope. We have no real way of telling. So that's exciting. We'll be coming in on the dark side as well, which makes things a little exciting. But when will that be? Uh, that'll be in five days. Yeah, that'll still probably be on the dark side. You know what? I've changed my mind. We're going to bring this back out to about 105. Or actually about 100. Something like this. It'll delay our landing a little bit, but we can choose our landing a little bit more correctly. And bleed off some of our orbital speed first. I think that'll be better. So we can't warp just yet. We'll have to physics warp as we make our way up here. We're not high enough yet to actually warp. So that's fine. And, I mean, we could ISRU, but we want to be bringing this ore, right? The ore that we have here, we want to bring for our contract. So that'll be just fine as well. Was it 6,400 or 8,400? Well, below 8,000 meters. Okay. Noted. So we're now at 6,700. We're not moving very quickly. 6,800. 6,900. 7,000. Okay. So we've got about a kilometer to go here. 7,100. 7,200. This is very slow. Unfortunately, we can't accelerate this any faster. 7,500. So only 500 meters to go. Three hundred meters to go. Two hundred. One hundred meters to go. And we now should be capable of warp. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. That was certainly slow. No doubt about that. But we've got the Delta V to do what we need to do. And our current goal is going to be 100 kilometers. And then we'll do a braking burn to break a lot of this speed at that periapsis. But we're going to have to reserve enough fuel to dip down into the atmosphere from here. I'm, I'm going to save like 50 meters per second. I'm not expecting it to actually require 50 meters per second. But that's what we'll save. Okay. So this burn will be in a few seconds here. We'll warp forward. 30 seconds. 20, 10, and 3, 2, 1, and mark. And off we go. Cool. Are any of these extended right now? I believe we got all of them back to zero, correct? Correct. So that'll be fine. The real question that I have right now is how are we going to ensure stability after landing? That's going to be interesting. Of course, we technically don't need to. We just need to land. <laughs> so that's going to be fascinating. 
we won't have an engine by the time we land. That's something to note. 50 meters per second to go here. 40. And this is looking good. 20 meters per second. Okay, that should be close enough. Fantastic. Once we reach this periapsis, we want to burn off, looks like 434 meters per second, if we want to keep 50. So we bleed off a bunch of speed here with 434. It's by no means going to be all of the speed that we want to bleed off, but that's fine. That will at least make things more manageable for us. And we'll also do a bit of a scouting run on this approach to see what biomes we're going to be over here. So that will be helpful to know. And if we want to delay our actual landing burn. Which may end up being necessary. So let's get into position for this and warp on forward. Beautiful. Goodbye, Gilly. We are uh, not coming. This is very tumbly. Oh, my. Okay, I did not expect this to be super spinny like this. Weird. But it appears to be under control. Cool. Okay, so this is Eve here, of course. Kind of looking a bit like a black hole, but it's not. 40 seconds on this burn. 30. 20. 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Preparing for this burn. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. And we're not going to be relying exclusively on this number. If this number dips below 50, we will stop this burn early. But this burn is just to slow us down a bit here. Our orbital velocity is quite high, as we can see. And we would like to bring that down somewhat. That said... We should be more than capable of entering at these velocities. I, I don't think that would be a problem. But we definitely do want to slow it down just a wee bit. I'm also probably going to be targeting 85 kilometers instead of 80 for our actual entry, just because we are going faster than we had planned. But that's reasonably okay. Uh, which of these are our drogues? These are our drogues. So the drogues move down here. And this should move into its own. There we go. Cool. So there's that all under control. We've got about one minute left on this burn. And we've got a little bit of fuel left here. Cool. Yep, about 50 seconds left on this burn. And all is looking good. We've definitely bled off a lot of speed here, so our orbits are much faster, and that is a big benefit for us. I'm also checking here, this is the Explodium C, so we probably don't want to come down here. We want to land this on land, is the goal. We'll bring a probe out here to get a splash down into the Oceans of Eve. That should be fine. Okay, so 70 meters per second to go here. Keeping an eye out here. Yeah, it's going to be slightly off. That's not shocking. And we'll just cut this the moment we hit 50. There. That'll do. I'm not sure why this is going up right now. That's weird. But we're going to get rid of it. Our apoapsis is rising right now. I'm freezing physics here. Okay, I'm going to make a quick save. I have no idea why our apoapsis would be going up right now. Turning SAS off. Still going up. I'm going to load the save that we just made here. So that was... Year 10, day 298, 2 hours, 46 minutes. So yeah, the persistent. So we load in this quick save, 
And we'll see if our apoapsis is still going up here. It's not going up by a ton, but it definitely was going up there. That's not how orbital dynamics works. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that one. It is about time to put a cut in here, and a game restart also might fix it. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, and next episode is when we're going to be coming in for our actual final landing on EVE. But I want to see if reloading this save fixed that issue real quick. If it did not, then we will attempt to fix it via a uh, game restart. We'll see if that works. For now, of course, you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and let's see what we've got here. Did that fix it? Yeah, that seems to have fixed it. Perfect. So it was just some sort of a bug. Okay. No problem whatsoever there. That is now fixed. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogan, Spartan News, Nix Marty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisil, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can leave. Wow, I, I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> You can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.